Thank you so much for your participation in this movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty exciting to have someone like you. I mean, you are you are a young person and you have this uh, big understanding of the world, uh, especially, you know, we are post 9-11. Um, tell me again, how old were you on 9-11? I was five. <laughs> you were pretty young. I, yeah, I, I honestly don't even remember. Uh, I just, I remember growing up, uh, hearing about 9-11 and how we need to catch Osama bin Laden and, and I just heard all these weird theories about how 9-11 was a conspiracy theory and uh, all these uh, just all these weird theories that the whole thing was just about oil and whatnot and like I I don't know how I feel about any of that because mm -hmm. I don't know I'm not in government so. so when did you start learning and hearing about this at what age or in, in school, or how did you start learning about 9-11? Uh, about I honestly, I don't remember. Uh, I have heard about it in school. I heard about it talking with friends, mm -hmm. who a lot of people believe it's a, at least partially a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. um, what, what about in, in classroom, like, uh, in classroom, do, you, do they teach about it, like say in some subjects, or only during September 11. It's how, mostly how is, just. Us. I'm curious how it's being taught to young people. It's mostly I mostly just remember it, uh, just in school. Just remember, like uh, they wanted us to remember 9/11 on 9/11. Uh, I don't really remember hearing much about it, other than on uh, September 11th. Ah, so that's really, to me, it's, it's interesting because, you know, of course, you know, I'm, I'm old and, and so I know um, the pre-9-11 and then, you know, the impact of that event, I think, is, uh, is pretty massive for, for people like me who came to this country with no education. Yeah. And uh, on 9-11, when I saw the tower collapse, collapsing, I, I was watching it on television, I realized I changed in, in a way that is so, I, I can understand. It's, it's very hard for me to understand the next day I was a completely different person. So I started to, to research, I started to learn more about the world, and uh, I, I, I've gone pretty far, and here I am, like, trying to explore uh, the implications from multiple perspectives and this is how I got to you and to other people and by doing this movie is to me is is part is a big part of American history and you're telling me right now that you know it's you hear about it there's not really much conversation or really a real like a subject that in school that teaches um, about this event in American, in American, it's part of American history for me. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's not being taught uh, more and more conversations in in, in school. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it's actually surprising now that you pointed out because it is a part of American history, and you know you don't really like learn much about it other than you know these lives need to be remembered and the troops need to be remembered who are over fighting in Iraq or they're not fighting anymore but they're still there I mean we I, yeah I guess <laughs> so this is the reason why for me 9-11 is a very very important uh, part of American history it's because of the implications there's so many changes that happen not just in our lives but but globally you know, and so with you, with you, with your generation, I mean, it's it's going to be different. But the fact that you know, the reason why I did the movie uh, is um, partly because I really want to highlight, no matter that, no matter what people think about the conspiracies out there, it's about oil, it's about it's about you know us going to war and so many other theories. The movie is focused on highlighting that on that day there are hundreds and hundreds of people who went in to give, they sacrificed their lives to save others who they didn't even know if they were Muslims, Christians, Democrats, Republicans. There are these very special people in America 
who came from different places, from different culture, who are actually there giving their own lives for others. And this is what the movie, the very special about this movie, and I'm so proud of, of it, is because of that. This is what I'm trying to tell the world, that our country is not perfect, our society is not perfect, but there are those people who gave their lives. Um, I mean, shouldn't it be in textbooks? <laughs> Could be in textbooks. I mean, let's, let's start with that. Like, let's start by just not remembering 9-11 just on September 11th. Let's start by learning it as a part of American history. But it's hard. It's, it's pretty complicated. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a complicated subject, which is why you have complicated conversations. <laughs> this is why we're doing it, because as we keep talking about it, we keep talking about it, we, keep, we learn. And uh, it's not going to be taught from one perspective. It's going to be, that's why I'm doing this movie from uh, exploring the multiple perspectives globally. That's why I film in seven, this is filmed in seven countries. And yeah. so I'm trying to listen to people uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's, to me, it's so important. It's, uh, the implication is really, it's massive. And we went to war, and we're still at war. You know, it's, it's a never-ending war that we don't understand. And we keep sending our, our people out there fighting a war or terrorism that we really don't understand, you know. So right now, we're fighting. You told me about terrorism, how you define terrorism. It's like, who are we really fighting right now, you know? Yeah. So. I, yeah. I... Honestly, what I was thinking growing up is why is it considered terrorism for someone to come into our country and start a war, but it's not considered terrorism for us to go into their country and start a war or continue a war. Um, I don't know how naive my perspective was. I don't know how ignorant it was growing up. I, I really appreciate that in America we are for the most part safe from war and terrorism. I don't even know how to define terrorism, but um, yeah, it's uh, We, we uh, don't know who, who the terrorists are anymore. It's, it's, they're everywhere. Know. I mean, if you want to define, like, we don't know how to define terrorism anymore. It's because, you know, it's, if, if you're looking for a terrorist, how do you find them there? For example, for example, let's say, for example, uh, how to stop terrorism. Uh, and you know, we're talking about the Middle East. And let's specifically think and, and talk about in Pakistan and Afghanistan. And if you, the borders are open. The border is open. And as long as it's open, you have no idea who's the bad person or who's the good one coming in and out of Pakistan and Afghanistan. And and that's very important to, you know, to, to talk about. Uh, if you, so we are going to be continuing the wars and, and sending our troops out there, and they, this is when we talk about the veterans. And, and it's, this is a very, very important subject that, you know, I talk about in the project, Complicated Conversations Post-9-11 Project, the issue of our veterans be, and, and our military being sent out and in those countries, fighting a war that do they we don't we don't even understand because those countries are at war right now. They're been at war forever and ever, fighting against each other, and then we are participating in, in supporting. And if we talk about Yemen, that that is that is very uh, important to talk about because there's 85,000 children died of starvation because of the war that is going on in Yemen right now. Yeah. where Saudi Arabia and Iran and America, our country, our government is supporting Saudi Arabia and, and Saudi Arabia is killing uh, innocent people and, and their wars over there. And so uh, it's, it's a very hard subject. It's a very hard topic uh, to introduce and to facilitate, but this is what I do and this is why I, I talk to people like you because you have the, informa you have the information in your fingertips. If you want to learn about the world, if you want to learn about, you know, our role and your your role as the person who is probably going to, eventually your generation will be the one to to fix this chaos and this, you know, so many things that are happening. 
it's in your generation, it's, it's not mine, but I, I introduced these things, and this is the only thing I can do, is to talk to you and to have this kind of conversation. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's this really hard conversation to be had, but this is when uh, I get very emotional and This, this is the hardest part of doing this project, is I engage in, in difficult conversation that, um, uh.